today is a cool day because we have a brand new platform rack from a very reputable company, Thule of Sweden. So this is the Thule Helium platform rack for 699 bucks. And what I'll do before I start talking is I'll just put it to good use and put a bike on. So there you go. What do you guys think? So, so this category was invented by One Up USA about 10 years ago or so, and people have recognized that platform tray racks are the best for mountain biking because it will take any frame, any design, whatever design they can come up with, the rack will work because it doesn't touch the frame. You know, it just touches the tires, not even the wheels, just the tires and it's proven solid enough to withstand any rough road and, and with not a lot of moving parts, not a lot of uh, ratchets, straps and whatnot that, that break down and Thule joined the fray. And as we know, Thule has an impressive testing, you know, repertoire, uh, if that's a word. Meaning they have a test course with, with rain, with heat, with bumps, high speed, and they have tested this thing like no other company in the world. Swedish, after all. So, as um, 699, 60 inch wheelbase, inch and a quarter and two inch compatible are some of its qualities. But what's really fascinating how, is how easy it is to use. You know, as this, some, some racks you have to two hand and kind of hold the, the, the rack, the bike with one hand while you undo the other. But this one can't be easier. So I'll take the bike off and talk through it. So the magic to it is the, the lever to release the handle is right here. It's actually hiding, you can barely see it. So, and sometimes you need to, un, you can't press the lever, you need to unload it. But because it's one hand, you don't have to do it. It's so easy. So the bike is under tension on the rear tire so you don't have to hold it and you just have to release that rear tire and boom you roll it off not bad huh so I'll talk through a couple other features so boom easy as pie uh, putting it back into place the rubber meets the aluminum so it's quiet it has a molding for the tire here three inch plus tire not a problem perfectly cupped in this huge tray plus tire and then um, the trays are quite close together uh, to make it compact you know that because they're very they're very wide already and the magic really is here in the arm and the lever to release it is right here so you can lower it no problem raise it it locks and then all you have to do is press it momentarily and then boom how easy can it get, huh? So, and how clean can it get? It's crazy. Now, so if you have a Volvo, some SUV, this will look perfect, you know? Use it all year. Or leave it there all year. But it is, it has a trick of its sleeve, which is it's 43 pounds. So a lot of racks like this, heavy duty, are 52 to 55 pounds. That's about the limit of what an, a normal person can lift in an awkward position without hurting their back, right? 43, you could take it on and off. And it couldn't be easier. All you have to do is unload this cam. There's a pin here, you know, really cool by Thule, that's spring-loaded. That's your safety in case this gets loose. And you, you just pull it, it's a spring-loaded uh, pin, and then you just pull the whole thing out. So, and then to prevent theft, really novel, is you unlock it, make the spin, so the cam can't be released anymore no matter what someone tries to do. So, some locks here, you know, for uh, convenience store locks or, or restaurant locks. If you are gonna leave it momentarily, hit the restroom or something, not, not for long periods of time. But 
it's a cool effort, you know. There's about five players in this category now. We've reviewed them all. And this one's not the cheapest, $6.99. But it's not the most expensive either, uh, believe it or not. We have a Saris one for $800. And a, the new one up is, I, I believe, $7, $7.30. So quite competitive. It doesn't handle heavy bikes, you know. Um, 37 and a half pounds is its limit. It's because of all the Thule testing. You know, they would want to approve 50 pounds on both inner and outer if they wanted to claim it uh, to be 50 pound compatible on the rigorous testing. So they just said 37 pounds. You know, if I had an e-bike that was, uh, you know, 43 pounds, 44 pounds, I would still use it. I would just put it in the inner tray and only one. But um, for most people, this is the, this is a great option. You know, I'm not sure how it's gonna look on a truck, on a truck, I'm gonna try it, but on an SUV. Or your, or your nice car, it's gonna be pretty dialed. All right, thanks a ton. So we're gonna leave you here with a little road test. What we have is a series of bumps, very sharp bumps, and we're gonna hit it at a good speed, about 15, 20 miles an hour. And you can see the rack sways a little bit, but not bad, you know, a little bit of sway is good. This is an inch and a quarter, so not huge, not overly stiff. And now we're going to hit these bumps at a sideways angle. And that's really where it torques it side to side. Right there is the side to side. And this is the most stress on the rack. There you go. I hope you enjoyed our overview of the Thule Helium Platform 2 rack for 700 bucks. It's a quality rack. Looks good and very, very simple to use.